Hi guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we're going to take a look in on the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. Um, it does actually have this panel in the top here, which this time of year I don't need any more ventilation, so I'm going to leave that closed. But it's there for the summer when I need it. All right. Get that back there and have a look and see what they're doing. Well, let's see, so far on top, we can see that we still have things sprouting. Um, that's interesting, I don't think I've seen them do that before. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. They, uh, or something has eaten all of the banana fiber and is actually working the way through the banana. And the banana exterior skin is just turned into paper. Well, that is interesting. Hmm. Here's an orchid leaf. It looks like they're doing about the same thing on that. Eating off one layer at a time, I suppose. Well, just going to kind of move everything over. The top part is really dry. That's the over screen from me harvesting, so that's just a lot of stuff that is not terribly um, friendly to worms. That looks like a, a pit of some sort, maybe even a um, walnut. I'm not sure. Looks like they're growing another avocado. This is also smelling um, a little musty for some reason. But let's look and see what we fed last time. Kind of feel there's something big here. Nope, got a, a worm ball, but they're all balled up in, I'm not sure, they're just balled up. There must have been something good uh, for them to want to ball up like that. Let's see, looks like a bread sort of thing, which turned hard on me. I try to mitigate that by soaking it in water first, but looks like I didn't get it done. So in general, this system is looking a little dry again. Uh, here in the Midwest, it is super low temperatures. The furnace is hardly ever off. So uh, this bin is struggling. I might put some sort of a plastic cover on inside the plastic cover. Because um, it is, again, it's been a week, and they are still what, I added two liters of water to this and still did not manage to keep it wet for a week. So let that be a lesson to me. I'm going to need to do more than that. But today, I think, you know, they're going through the bedding at a fair rate. So today, I'm going to pile everything back on top and then put the new feeding and some more bedding on top of that. So let me grab something. Since I couldn't find any more food, I think I'm just going to give them a really good, healthy feeding and more things for them to sprout. So this has been frozen, but you can tell, actually some of it is still frozen, lots of melon for them to eat and lots of bananas and potato peels and tea bags and their normal fare that they get here. So I'm going to put that all down on top of there. And then I'm going to add a healthy um, many handfuls of my prepared bedding. Now the prepared bedding actually contains the grit, so I don't always put grit on top of the feedings because the bedding has all of the grit in it. While I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to add some more water to the lower layers. I think the super wet feeding is going to have a really good influx of water into the bin, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. 
but I am planning on adding a lot of water to the system considering the shape that I saw it in when I got in there today. So this is a one liter bottle and I'm going to use all of it and then I also have my one liter sprayer that I'm going to add into it when we get it all assembled. More bedding. More bedding. And as you can see here, this is junk mail, food boxes, cereal boxes, and they go through this very, very quickly. Um, as you can tell, um, the previous layers here, you can see a little bit of the boxes, but not very much. As African night crawlers generally um, enjoy their carbon, um, equal to, if not greater than, how they like their food. Um, carbon versus nitrogen source. I do give them a great deal more carbon in the form of bedding, prepared bedding, that's been resting for about a month. Um, way more than I do the other species of worms. And one of the things that comes in handy is that when you have it prepared, they go through it much quicker. And then also it's very handy to have it right next to the bin and a little tote so that I can put mounds and mounds of it in there for them. All right, I'm going to get some more water. My goal is to put two liters in here. And then I think I'm going to have to check on it more often until we get out of this cold snap here. Alright, so now I'm going to tuck in the African night crawlers. This is the first time I've done this. This is a packing blanket. came with the something I got recently. So I'm hoping that this is, even though it's really thin and it's not the bubble wrap, that it will keep everybody nice and snugly and hopefully retain some of that moisture for me so that it's not quite so dry as it was the last time that we got in here. All right, well, that is it for the African night crawlers today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a great day.